Viagra, also known as sildenafil, has been one of the most revolutionary innovations in the history of mankind, up there with the automobile and the personal computer. Viagra's approval in the late 1990s marked the first time ever that men suffering from a soft noodle were able to achieve powerful, long-lasting erections and regain their confidence in the bedroom once again. But although Viagra is widely prescribed and has been around for a hot minute, there are some things you should know about the drug as it does have some serious side effects and drug-drug interactions. How's everyone doing? It's Isaac Wade, Doctor of Pharmacy, and in this video, we'll be discussing all things Viagra, including its history, how it works, how you take it, its efficacy and safety, and common drug-drug interactions. As a general disclaimer, this video is for informational purposes only. Always speak with a qualified medical professional for any type of drug advice. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Viagra was discovered back in 1989 under the name Compound UK92480 in Pfizer's Sandwich Research Facility. I'm not joking here, Pfizer actually does have a sandwich research facility. Originally, researchers were looking for a treatment for chest pains due to restricted blood flow to the heart, which is a condition that's also known as angina. And UK92480 seemed like a promising candidate as it worked by widening blood vessels to improve blood flow. However, it turned out that the enzyme that Viagra blocked to carry out its effects, which is called phosphodiesterase 5, is located primarily in the spongy erectile tissue of the penis, leading to more localized effects. And in phase one clinical trials, it was found that although Viagra didn't help much in the way of treating chest pains, it did cause powerful and prolonged erections. This led Pfizer to shift its focus from the mundane and saturated field of heart disease to the new and exciting field of erectile dysfunction. Viagra then went through phase two and three clinical trials where it demonstrated a dose-dependent ability to approve erections, and it also was proven to improve sexual satisfaction. Viagra was then approved in 1998 by the FDA. Since then, Viagra has been a smash success with just under $2 billion of sales in 2008, and the rest is history. In terms of indications or what Viagra is used for, it's most well known for treating erectile dysfunction, but it has also been used for treating pulmonary hypertension, Raynaud's phenomenon, and high altitude pulmonary edema. In terms of dosage, Viagra is available in 25, 50, and 100 milligram tablets. The 50 milligram tablet is a typical starting dose, but the patient may reduce the dose to 25 milligrams if they experience side effects and increase the dose to 100 milligrams if a full response is not achieved. Viagra may be taken with or without food 30 to 60 minutes prior to sexual activity, and the effects typically last between four to six hours. However, I wouldn't recommend taking Viagra with a high fat meal as that's been shown to lower absorption and may lessen its effects. Another thing that you should know about Viagra is that it only causes erections if the man is turned on. If the man is not in the mood, it's not gonna help that much. Common side effects from Viagra include headache, flushing, indigestion, nasal congestion, abnormal vision, and UTIs, or urinary tract infections. Very rare but serious side effects include erections lasting longer than four hours, which does require medical attention, hearing loss, heart attacks, and strokes, and arrhythmias. Viagra does have some drug interactions as well. It has a severe drug interaction with nitrates, such as nitroglycerin and isosorbide dinitrate, which are typically prescribed for angina. Mixing these drugs together can cause severe and life-threatening low blood pressure. Viagra also interacts with alpha blockers such as doxazosin and prazosin. These drugs are typically prescribed for enlarged prostate. The outcome of the interaction between Viagra and alpha blockers is also low blood pressure. Viagra also interacts with antiviral drugs, specifically protease inhibitors, such as those used for treating HIV. However, thankfully, pre-exposure prophylaxis drugs like Truvada and Discovi do not contain this type of antiviral, which means it's typically safe. That being said, always check with your pharmacist for drug-drug interactions. In terms of cost, Viagra is typically not covered by drug insurance. It's considered to be more of a luxury product. Viagra is also extremely expensive, at least in Canada, it costs more than $10 per pill. However, you can save money by buying larger pills and splitting them. For instance, the 100 milligram tablet costs almost the same as the 50 milligram tablet, which means that you could just buy the 100 milligram tablets and split them in, into two, rather than paying for the 50 milligram tablets, you end up saving money. Anyways, that's all I have to talk to you about today. I hope this video is informative and I hope you learned something new about Viagra. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.